and welcome to my daily vlog of <laughs> dogs running past me. Um, life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Just me and my dad today. Andy's having a day off, Connor's off. So we'll get all the bits and bobs done. And um, yeah, hopefully there's a baby today. <laughs> None yet, no babies yet. But I'll not be jumping on the new JCB first this morning. It will be the 120. We'll get this straw blown out. We're running two machines that aren't ours at the minute. This 120M, while the 130 is in, getting something done. And the 53695 JCB. It's such a long number to say that, isn't it? The 9 meter JCB, basically. So we've got started, we're blowing the straw out. In everywhere, nicely bedded down, keeping them happy. How are we all doing, fellas? Hey, you all right? Look at this one in back with arms. I'm just parked up waiting um, for my dad to come round. I'll open the gates for him here, because these guys are all patiently waiting for their feed. So we're just feeding out with the TM now. Getting all these guys fed. Hello, pretty. Aren't you nice, hey? Aren't you lovely? Yes, you are. Come round this morning sort out our little contraption of water pipes that we've got here from 32 mil to 25 mil to 20 mil to then a 20 mil t um because we didn't have 20 mil 20 mil 30 mil oh we've got water coming through have i fixed it no i would say no oh, we've got a leak somewhere still haven't we is it leaking there yep damn Two. Ben's here with his dog. Can a drink? You can have a drink. You were I've just had my coffee, me and Ben, and now we're going to fill the cattle lorry with cattle. Um, who'd have thought it? Cattle lorry with cattle. And my dad's going to take these, just in case anything happens with Beckett. I'm close home, um, and we can get to the hospital. So um, yeah, let's get this filled up. So off we go. Oh, we'll spin it round. We're back. Back around the corner, I think. It turns around like a cruise line on us. We're all on there now, ready for my dad to take them. Me and Ben will just get the rest of the strawing done. Right, well, we better get on this beast, I think, and have some straw put out. So, first of all, we better pick up the spikes. Like so. And then we'll head over to the trailer. Over here and we'll pick this up. Get it set up so we can pick the trailer up. So we need to change the auxiliary, which is it, that one. Right, so you see there, as we're on yellow, press the button, which goes to green, and then we need to change it with the button on the joystick to blue. If we spec a machine, we wouldn't have to do any, or I wouldn't have to do half of that messing about because um, this has got like so many different spool valves on it because you can spec it up that way. Um, we would just literally have one one auxiliary to the front, whereas this has got two, and one auxiliary at the back for the pickup hitch. Um, yeah, but it, just the amount of stuff that you can have on this is crazy, like air brakes and all that kind of stuff, which we just wouldn't need because it stops in the yard all the time. Nice big mirror on the back so you can see the hook just pushed it off the ground there so I'll just lift it up a little bit sorry about the shaky camera skills here not a professional um, and then if I can find reverse we will uh, get back up to it Move down a bit Joe and pick her up I imagine you can probably have a camera for that as well but before that mirror is pretty really good. It's all hooked on. I'm just going to kick a bit of this straw off because it makes everything, uh, makes the bales nearly fall off sometimes. Sort that out into the yard. We got the heavy of that off anyway. We'll get up the yard. Right, well, 
we'll have a little look at how she picks up some bales then. We might get a little bit of a time lapse on. With ease. It's got them. Should we go for some higher ones this time? See if we can see it with the phone. You hear that changing engine noise? Reversing fans just come on. Kicked in. Driving R9 meter, fetch her down, planted. And it's got regenerative hydraulics, this one, so it uses the weight of the material to lower the boom. Whereas in ours, it's always pumped, so it pumps it down. Um, and this is supposed to, I think it's supposed to like save fuel. I mean, it, should, it will save fuel on it, it's not pumping it on the way down. why they haven't done that already like. So yeah, maybe I'll get some footage from the outside. We try oh, no, somewhere here. Yeah. We'll get some footage from the outside and then you can see it working and doing its job. We see why it's essential to have a reversing pan. So as soon as the um, reversing pan kicks in, it'll just blow all that off. But yeah, in the straw job, it's just essential. We'll try and force it to blow it off. There we go. Anyway, now's the test, the real test. Will this JCB pick up that load of straw? Some of the other machines couldn't do it. Will the JCD, or JCD, JCB even, take it off? We'll give it a go. Definitely just, yeah, just picked up the power, didn't it? All locked on. So the other machines, if I don't fall over, um, were lifting it, but couldn't get it into their locking mechanism. Um, so it had like a floaty, they had floaty like pick up pictures or something. Supposedly there's things that can be done with the other machines to sort it, but out of the box it should work, shouldn't it? It should be able to pick a trailer up like that. It's not, it is a big trailer, but it's not, you can get bigger, you can get triaxle ones. And if you're buying a machine like this, wanting to stack bales 9i for light, you want to be able to pick up trailers of that sort of size. Because, um, yeah, it's all part of the job, isn't it? Efficiency. We're off now, pulling it anyway. And it's got no qualms in pulling it. I mean, we're going 2K, like, we're not, going, we're not, we're not taking it on road, but um, yeah, it, it feels like there's plenty, plenty. I'm not pushing on the throttle a great deal, and she's going. I'm not, not grumbling about any of that. I feel like I'm just being too positive about this machine. I need to find. 
the negatives, the negatives. This steering wheel's good, I, you can know, you can just have it flopping out of the way. But I want it to be closer to me. I want it to come down more, and it's at the furthest part. It goes from there. I mean, I was going to drive it up there, eh? The, and if it goes from there to there. Surely you could make it go a little bit lower, yeah? It goes in and out. Great. It just just feels like it needs to come a little bit closer. That's all. Maybe these buttons. I'm not such a fan of them. I do like proper rocker switches. Um, I think these are just. It looks fancy, but I know the reason they put them in. It's because it's cheaper. It's got to be. It's just got to be cheaper to do that. It doesn't look cheaper, but I know in my head that that's the reason they've done it. I'd love a little rocker switch just to flick for when we're locking and unlocking the um, pins. But complaining about stuff like that's a bit like just splitting hairs. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I really like it. I really do like it. Um, I don't know what the cost, but I really do like it. Those mirrors are awesome. I know that I'm not going to be that way, Bridge. So I've got like three points of reference to work it out. What a job. I'm just like actively seeking out jobs that I could do with this uh, with this machine today because I just yeah I am really enjoying driving it. Um, so I think we'll just shift these pallets around, and then I know I've got to go down this embankment over here, shift a few bits around there. So either I can use this to move some small soil into this end of the shed to bring up the level or i can use the digger with one or the other but um yeah we'll have uh, will she get down this embankment oh, i'll tell you what she might go down it but it's where oh it's a bit steep you know so i've chose to go this way <laughs> yep it's steep Uh, his off-roading capabilities are clearly fantastic. He's handling that anyway. That's nice. Reversing fan on again. Right, we're going to move some of this stuff back so I can get some of that soil out. Moved a few bits around. Um, pallet up on top of there. Can you see it? Um, I'll go and put that fancy JCB bucket on and we'll dig some stuff out of here. I've got it on. <laughs> the jaws of death. I have to show you what I've done down at the shed a little bit later, but I've just had my dinner. Yes, roast dinner it was, roast beef, um, yolks and yolks and all that. And um, I've got a mix to do now. A few bits and bobs like that. So yeah, we'll catch up on uh, what I did down there. I can just say that the um, the JCB was great and I had a lot of fun. So, um, mixing time now. Well, I do head out into the wind and get this running. I thought we'd do mix subventions today and um, it's a it's a big one. Uh, it's from Ele Eleanor Elizabeth Grant, who's only two days old. And it's from your granddad and grandma, Brian and Jennifer, who have put in from Vulcan County, Canada. My, all the way from Canada, going on to the mix mentions. It's fantastic, and they put in a very generous donation. Thank you very much. So we're now at five thousand three hundred and nineteen pounds raised for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Anybody else wants to do the same? Links in the description below. Especially if you're from like a random country, please make a donation to Yorkshire uh, and their air ambulance. It'd be fantastic. It, it just blows my mind that sort of thing. Right, let's get on here and um, get this mix done for our cows. So now we're just going to load up the mill with the barley. And you, you know I've chosen this again, I know. Just filled the mixer up and um, I thought I'd just come around here while it's still mixing and show you what we got up to. Just turn this off. Yeah, it's a bit windy out there, so we'll try and do it from the cab. So I was moving soil from there and building it up here. If you remember, there's just nothing there. That was dropping away. And then... I'll come in with the digger, I'll track that a bit. And then we'll probably put some tarmac over the top. So, um, yeah. Then we've got a bit of a level shed. We've got a bit of hay in here. 
um, whether we put some hay in there this time or whether we just put machinery in like the rake and the tether and stuff not sure but in the wind I can hear that barley rustling it's sounding drier and drier so I reckon in the next couple of weeks we'll be in there cutting that and getting it in the shed for the cattle for the next few months in there when we get that in nice circle in it how many full miles has that gone from there to go into my cows just makes sense doesn't it hopefully it's not too windy out here and i just wanted to pretty much wrap up the video because i think it's turned into a bit of a long one it's been a bit of a jcb fest again i think it will be for the next foreseeable future days because i really like that machine um if you've liked today's video though remember to press the like button and subscribe a lot of people not subscribe still that watch uh, the channel which you know what it's it's no biggie but we would love to get to the 20,000 uh, subscriber mark and get out to the Weatherspoons or whatever um yeah it's from the start of doing youtube i never thought that we could get anywhere near to the 20,000 i thought like maybe five or six thousand we, we might get to in, in in like the wildest dreams sort of thing so to be so close to the 20k is um yeah it's in sort of grasping distance which is which is nice um but yeah um that's about it really so yeah me andy and connor and the rest of the team will see you tomorrow hopefully i've said this for the last what is it five or six days now uh, no yeah six days i think it is the baby's coming but um <laughs> i'm gonna say it's not coming tomorrow it's not coming tomorrow that means it probably will so no i've jinxed it already right anyway i'm going so i'm rambling thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it bye